good day. Hope everybody's having a good one out there. So, recently uh, just got a chance to listen to the brand new release of the uh, upcoming Jethro Tull album, Hammer on Hammer. This will be off the Rock Flute album. I love the, uh, the, the play on the whole Norse thing. He talks uh, a bit uh, Annie Anderson talks a, a, a bit about um, how they how they came across the name or how they how they came up with the name um, with uh, uh, getting into some Norse mythology and stuff and the uh, interview on uh, Blabbermouth, which you can uh, go check out. Now this is the third release of uh, this album, and I must say. There's a definite feeling of uh, re return to form for people that maybe haven't heard Jethro Tull in a while, uh, but remember like a lot of the old radio songs and stuff like um, Skating Away, you know, and of course is Aqualong and, and all the all the classics, um, uh, you know, uh, Cross-Eyed Mary and stuff was always my, uh, one of my faves. Uh, I... It was one of the first uh, songs I ever heard from Jethro Tull live. Now, this album will be like their 23rd album. That is insane. And they've had such a just, I mean, talking over 50 million copies sold of their albums. And uh, they definitely, they have, this is aptly named. And this song is a definite play on the the title of the album. Um, the the poetry it, that's the thing that I've always loved about Jethro Tull's presentation is you know this this rock guitar with this this flute almost uh, medievalish type flute uh, feeling. He always has this feeling of feeling like um, his flute playing comes from a, a, a way older time and that's what i've always loved about um ian anderson's uh singing and uh, uh flute playing along with uh the poetry and everything that it just it all ties together so well and these are you know these are things that uh aren't um you know replicated uh, a whole lot they might be uh, uh mimicked at times but there aren't any other bands that are, you know, like uh, Jethro Tull um, out there that are as big as they are. There, there are um, some excellent um, independent bands that are doing things very similar or within this vein. We got like folk metal nowadays. We got a lot of cool like different subgenres. I know there's a too many subgenres of music, but you know everything has to be categorized nowadays. So, um, the, the independent scene really has a, a wealth of, uh, of, of music. And of course, uh, when you get into regional areas, um, you know, a lot of you, like your uh, Slavic regions and stuff like that have just a, a ton of, um, just awesome music in this, in this vein. Um, I, I would even, uh, say bands like, uh, Opeth have uh definitely borrowed from uh jethro tall quite a bit um when you you know get to listen to their albums and how they're presented they're they're very along those uh lines and um and sometimes there's even things that will directly remind you of jethro tall or whatever and that's you know uh, they're not shy about talking about borrowing from different artists because this is how you get uh, your inspiration. And Jethro Tull is such, I don't, I don't feel like they get talked enough about, you know, it's like uh, talked about enough. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's, it's, uh, they, they really have influenced quite a lot of bands that are out there. Some of them uh, might not be as uh, open about it as others, but there's a, definitely a lot of that that you can hear in um in, in bands especially uh bands that add you know instruments like the flutes and the violins and all that that they really have an appreciation for this 
uh, kind of presentation. And um, it's definitely always changed the way I've, you know, looked at music and it's uh, helped set a bar um, on, you know, uh, the, the kind of poetics that can be put together with music in these old timey feels that can also, uh, you know, feel like they're in the time they belong in, but also feel like they're taken from another time. Um, this newer song, um, I feel like it, it, it must be like, it feels cut off at the end, um, to me, um, or like, you know, they just stopped, um, because it, it's almost, it feels like it's like mid sentence type thing. Um, so I have to wonder if it probably leads into something else. Maybe, um, the whole album, like from what I've heard so far, I've only heard, uh, three singles, um, which you can uh, all find together over on a, an awesome, uh, interview on Blabbermouth. Uh, all three of them, it really, it has that return to form type feeling, um, of stuff like the, the riffs and stuff that you might've, uh, enjoyed from all the radio play songs, uh, admittedly, um, and any albums in the last say 10 years from, you know, Jethro Tull, they've just stuck with the hits. They haven't, they haven't gone through, you know, regular terrestrial radio or anything hasn't gone into any of these prior albums or any of that. And, and there's a, um, um, you know, the album before this last one, um, if I remember correctly, was uh, quite mellow. Um, they, it feels like he's taking it a little easier on the vocals, but they're all there. Uh, he presents it perfectly. It doesn't sound like he's straining or anything. It doesn't sound like he's um, uh, working really hard to get out what is being, you know, put on um put on tape but uh <laughs> but uh but yeah i i really look forward to uh to hearing uh the rest of this album um and uh it comes out uh april 21st so definitely uh go uh, check out this new stuff if you haven't heard any of it if you haven't listened to jethro tull in a while and you've always liked what you've heard on the radio go check out over on the youtubes that yeah there's just a bunch of awesome stuff that is really not appreciated or talked about enough and we're gonna try to change that because uh this this is good stuff and it's definitely for fans that haven't heard jethro tell in a while this will be like uh a you know, like, oh, yeah, this is what I, you're going to love this. Uh, I, if you, like I said, if you are fans of the old, you know, Jethro Tull that you grew up with or whatever, this has a lot of all that and just um, awesome, awesome riffs and stuff that are really catchy. Those just awesome melodies that just go on into these other awesome melodies and riffs. Uh, yeah, really, really like it. Um, looking forward to hearing the rest of this album. So if you haven't already, like I said, go check this out, um, out April 21st and go check out the, uh, interview over on, um, uh, Blabbermouth. Cause, uh, like I said, they, they talk a, a little bit, it's pretty interesting to talk about the mythology and everything and how they came up with the name and, uh, all of that. It's, uh, it, it, it's really neat. And it talks about a little bit about the last album, some of the prior albums, and uh, all of their accomplishments that I said are underrated. So go show them some appreciation. I hope everybody out there is having a good day. Hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. We got a, a bunch more stuff. We got some more reviews and stuff coming up uh, pretty soon. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. We got a ton of other stuff. So uh, check out the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything I should be uh, checking out. Please let me know. I will uh, be more than uh, happy to uh, go check it out. It's been one of the best ways to find music is uh, doing this uh, channel and getting uh, opened up to a whole bunch of new worlds of music that I probably never would have. So uh, definitely suggestions are totally welcome. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.